first, I'm showing off the hat. Sky, like Hirogaru Sky. Free Cure has a lot to celebrate this year. Hirogaru Sky is coming in February, and it's going to be the start of the 20th anniversary celebration. That's 20 years of Pretty Cure, 20 seasons, 18 teams, nearly 80 Pretty Cure in total and counting. If you're anything like me, you've been almost overly excited about all of this because you know how anime shows love to celebrate a 20th anniversary with lots of special events, new video clips, and loads and loads of merchandise. Hi guys, I'm Imani and welcome or welcome back to Dory Imani where I talk about Magical Girl anime and its merch and goods. So essentially every time you open Twitter right now, you're going to see a new set of Pretty Cure merchandise that is coming out soon and has been announced and everything is very, very pretty, but it's also very overwhelming but not to worry because in this video i'm showing with you all of the pretty cure merchandise that i've compiled up until this point in one place i'm going to do my best to inform you of the prices the release dates and where you exactly a fan outside of japan can purchase this merchandise so if you like this video and find it helpful make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel because i love talking about this kind of stuff and i will surely keep you updated since there are two things being celebrated by pretty cure this year i'm going to divide this video into two sections first is hirogaru sky merch and the second is 20th anniversary merch the standard first wave of new season of pretty cure merchandise has already been announced and is up for pre-order currently. So that includes toys, play sets, stationery, things of that nature. These next items we're discussing are all slated for a release date of February 4th, 2023, unless stated otherwise. First up is the Sky Mirage. This seems to be the transformation item, the attack item, and I think even the item that they use for the ending dance. All in one, it has an almost holographic light on the inside that's going to spin and display images, Really interesting, this feature isn't something that Pretty Cure has done with its toys in the past. It kind of looks like a K-pop light stick to me. Um, it's priced at 7,900 yen. Now this is pricier than Pretty Cure's Henshin and Attack toys usually have been in the past. With the spinning light function, maybe manufacturing it is a bit more expensive, but I'm also thinking that because it's both an attack and transformation item, they could be making up for the usual double income that they would receive otherwise. I do like this, I am gonna get it. It looks like the sky tones will activate the voices of each different cure, and it looks like the new light pattern will appear as well. So I assume a new set will come out probably when Cure Wing and Cure Butterfly are revealed. But for right now, they're releasing the Sky and Prism set and these other four collectibles. Oh yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how many of these that they come up with. The Mysterious Mirage pen. This is an actual pen. The Hero Sky Cures will apparently be carrying these around in the show. It has a light up function when you press the button. Very cutely designed all in all. It is a regular regular schmegular pen. <laughs> it's just a pen. But it is priced at 1700 yen and is advertised to be used with the stationary set. Next, we've got a Princess Elchan talking doll, the give me a hug Princess Elchan. Typical talking baby doll things like bottle feeding and sleeping. I do think Elchan has a cute design. It's funny that her eyes take up like half of her face. She retails at 7,400 yen. Sold separately are her pajama dress for 2,700 yen and the Princess Elchan always together sling at 3,000 yen. I see why parents are always stressed out when their kids ask for things like this because an entire set is not cheap. Next is the Hirogaru Sky, Cure Sky and Cure Prism children's costumes. These are retailed at 8,200 yen each and sold separately are the head accessories and earrings that Sky and Prism wear each for 3,100 yen. Dolls and plushies, woo! Dolls and plushies, dolls and plushies. The Pretty Cure Style Dolls for Cure Sky and Cure Prism retail at 4,500 yen each and look really good. I like the way the hair looks and the hair clips. I am noticing that some of this merch isn't detailing the pop of red on Cure Sky's cape and I'm a little bit upset about that. Like, where's the pop of red? But it's okay because we've got the Cure Friends plushies, 
sky and prism again for 2700 yen each looking adorable you can see the pop of red on her cape there can you tell that i love cure sky's design and then of course we have the pre-core dolls where you can switch out the character's hair and outfits between civilian form and pre-cure form sky and prism sets are 1800 yen each while princess elchon is a bit cheaper for 1600 yen oh girl and you know we gotta get into it it's inescapable. It's pretty holic. We've got two pretty holic releases this year the stationery and the cosmetic beauty. I'm gonna try and do this fast because it is a lot of little stuff. For stationery, the pretty holic stationery notebook that is 2800 yen. Four types of pretty holic stationery pretty fragrance letters. Oh my god. Afternoon perfume, night perfume, cute sky and cool sky. These all retail at 600 yen each. For a cosmetic and beauty, the Pretty Up lipsticks, Sky and Prism, are really nicely designed and packaged, I will say, and are 1300 yen each. The Pretty Up eye colors, Sky and Prism, are 1400 yen each. The Pretty Up nail polish with nail stickers, Sky and Prism, are 1200 yen each. The Pretty Up cheek sky heart, looks super cute and retails at 1800 yen. The Pretty Up hand cream listed for 1600 yen. And then finally, the brand new item, the shiny powder fragrances, Sky and Prism, that will have a soap and floral scent respectively, and they seem to leave a shiny sheen on your skin, retail at 1800 yen each. I do love the design and make of those shiny powder fragrances. They look really pretty. I've never really been interested in Pretty Holic, and keep in mind, these items are made for kids, so don't expect anything that's like highly pigmented or of like luxurious quality, but I do think that it looks really cute this year. Also a note, due to the nature of the shiny powder fragrances, as well as the nail color and them probably being flammable items, I don't think that we will be able to buy them as international fans, as there are no listings up on retail sites as of this moment. Now it's time for the big hitter, the AIM, yearning for me, pretty cure mirror pad all star. That is not an official translation, that is just what I was able to work out on my own. <laughs> it is releasing not on February 4th like the other Hirogaru Sky items I just mentioned, but on March 18th and is 14,000 yen. If you're keeping track, that is roughly 110 US dollars. Why is this thing so pricey? It can apparently do a lot. It's technically an all-stars item, so all of the Pretty Cure up until this point are in it. And the website says there are 71 games, including 18 Pretty Cure all-star games, Pretty Cure profiles, 23 types of apps, music, there's an in-camera function where you can communicate with previous cures. They're advertising it as something that can be used for a long time, probably so parents won't worry that they'll drop a lot of money on a toy that their children will get bored of. It looks neat, I personally won't be getting it, but let me know if you're planning on purchasing it or if you've already pre-ordered it. All right, those are all of the big hitter, highly advertised items for the new season of Pretty Cure. But here are just a few more Hirogaru Sky items that I think are relevant if you're a collector and you prefer having trinkets that are inexpensive but will still satisfy your love for Pretty Cure. These Bikura Tamago Pretty Cure mascots are too cute. I think they're going to be blind packaged and come with what looks like a bath bomb. 400 yen, hilarious to me. This apron and towel prize items are for people who collect all of the daily necessity Pretty Cure goods that are going on sale, such as the Pretty Cure toothpaste and toothbrush and like shampoo. I'm not going into all of those things. Next, we've got five different Gashapon sets coming out as of right now. These are going to be in Gashapon machines in Japan for 300 yen. The Gashapon sets are the dress up Pretty Cure set with the Sky Mirage, barrettes, and clip on earrings. The Sky Tone set and the Hirogaru Swing Set, which are cute little keychains, the Rubber Mascot Keychain Set, and the Bracelet Watch and Case Set. And again, those are going to be in Gashapon machines for 300 yen. If you're like me and you're not really into talking dolls, there's going to be a Princess Elchan Big Plush Game Crane Plushie. Crane Game Plushie. That will be out in February. And we've got some mini versions of the Sky Mirage, Mysterious Mirage Pen, and Princess Elchan. I think these come with gummy candies and retail at 300 yen. Just a couple more items, just a couple more. We've got a couple of sets from the brand Plex, the Hirogaru Sky Hug Character Collection featuring Sky, Prism, Wing, 
Ah, and Princess Elchan. This is like the first merch set that has a wing on it. So, oh, finally, no butterfly yet though. These are up on Ami Ami as a 12 box set for 9,500 yen. And then the second set, are these Koroto pouches featuring the same characters up on Ami Ami as a 20 item assorted box set for 700 yen. Whew. There is a hell of a lot of merchandise that comes out for a pretty cure season, not just this year, but every year. And going through all of this was kind of my first time realizing the magnitude of it all. It's a lot of stuff. My motto is always only buy what you like. And if you see something you don't like, or if you don't like anything, don't get it, it's fine. But the question you might be interested in is, where can I get this stuff? If you're looking to get Hirogaru Sky Pretty Cure items, or just Pretty Cure items in general, the best places to buy and pre-order these items directly are Amazon Japan, Ami Ami, Toku Lectables, Hobby Link Japan, and CD Japan. Though CD Japan is mostly where you're going to get magazines and CDs. These websites are going to put direct orders in for you to get whatever Pretty Cure merchandise they have available on their site. They also ship worldwide. However, there are several items that are not being offered online, such as the Gashapon, the keychains, and typically the little trinkets that you'd only find in stores. The way you're going to get those items is through secondhand sellers. You'll have to search through sites like Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari Japan, Rakuten, and Mandarake to find listings. And on these websites, you'll likely find people selling the bigger items like the mirror pad, for an even cheaper price than it is retailed for. But that price is just going to depend on whatever the seller's listing is. It will vary. In order to buy from the sites that I just listed, you will need to use a proxy service. And I highly, highly recommend Zen Market and Baiyi. They're super easy to use. They're great. They're reputable. I've used both of them multiple times and I've had no issues. But if you'd like more instruction on how to use a proxy service, I am going to link a video above by Ochiba Wolf Collection. That is a great resource and taught me how to use proxy services. I already said it, but anime production companies know how to celebrate a 20th anniversary and Pretty Cure is no different. We are super early into what's going to be a year's worth of celebration, but so far we have two separate categories of Pretty Cure 20th anniversary merchandise. We have the traditional plushies, the dolls, the shikishi art, the gashapon, those of which their accessibility is similar to the Hirogaru Sky merch that I mentioned earlier, which will be sold online and in stores, etc. But then there's also this really exciting exclusive line of merchandise that is going to be available at an exhibition, but I will get into that in just a moment. Because first, let's talk about the 20th products lineup that will be coming out on March 18th, 2023. First up is something that might be most exciting for collectors. It's the Pretty Cure Style Neo Cure Black and Neo Cure White dolls. These are the first Cure Black and Cure White dolls since their last release way back in 2005. So this is really special. If you compare the newer ones to the older ones, the newer costume is more accurate to the anime, the colors are more accurate, the fabrics, the paint job on the faces is now leagues better. I will say the older dolls are modeled after Max Hart costumes while the Neo style dolls seem to be modeled after Futari Wa. So there are some minor differences anyway, but all in all, what an upgrade, seriously. One thing I don't think they've quite mastered yet is unfortunately Nagisa's hair. Somehow they keep giving my girl the soccer mom and it's it's so unfortunate, I'm so sorry to her. These Neo style dolls retail at 5,100 yen each. Continuing the celebration, we have a new line of keychain plush dolls called Memekira dolls. This is a brand new series of keychain plushies coming from Bondi. I'm not sure if it'll be exclusive to Pretty Cure, but Pretty Cure is kicking it off. And so far the line contains four cures and five fairies. We have Cure Black, Cure White, Cure Dream, and Milky Rose. And for the fairies, we have Mepple, Meeple, Horun, Coco, and Nuts. The Cure plushes are priced at 1,900 yen each, while the fairies will be 1,700 yen. Next up is pretty neat. We've got what seems to be a rerun of some of the previous pre-core dolls. Special for the anniversary, they are re-releasing the pre-core dolls of all the leader cures and some duos, which is interesting, especially considering some of the missed duo opportunities here. And we're gonna take a look at that right now. The first set is black and white. Then we've got 
Bloom and Egret. The third set is Dream and Peach, which is fair enough. They were not duo seasons on their own. Blossom and Marine makes sense. Melody and Rhythm makes sense. Cure Happy and Cure Heart together we can excuse. Lovely and Flora is where it gets confusing because though I myself have not seen Happiness Charge yet, I know that Lovely and Princess came as a sort of package deal in the show. So that's kind of, I don't understand why they wouldn't put her as well, but, but we digress. Miracle and Magical, self-explanatory. Whip and Yell, those two aren't really du duo seasons, so it's fine. But then we have Star and Grace, and again, it gets a little fuzzy because Milky is definitely duo material with Star. But then we have finally Summer and La Mer, which some people might debate, but I'm letting it pass. I think the mentioned duos were excluded because some of the other ones might have been off if they were included. Just the math of it all. Not to mention, they're probably thinking of what's going to sell. If that's the case, you can argue then why isn't Milky there? She is a very popular character. And this is all very surprisingly too complicated to think about, so we're just gonna move on. But these pairs are packaged together at 2,900 yen each. Of the more miscellaneous anniversary merch so far, we have the Capsule Torso Gashapon. I freaking love the Capsule Torso line. They've done Pretty Cure before, they've done Ojimaju Dori Mi, and Card Captor Sakura as well. The upcoming set is of the Max Heart Girlies. We have Black and White and Shiny Luminous. They will be 500 yen at Gashapon Machine Stations in Japan. There's also an A4 clear file featuring Cure Black and the 20th anniversary logo that will be at flat gashapon stations in Japan for 300 yen. Both are coming this spring. I forgot about this gashapon set coming out the fourth week of January and I don't know how I forgot this set because I'm so excited about these. It's called the Pretty Cure All Stars Die Cast Transformation Charm and Package Collection and they are die cast charms of the transformation items from Go Princess, Smile, Fresh, Slash Star and Maho Tsukai. And they are actually modeled after the actual toys, the toy versions of the packaging, which is so freaking neat and special and so for the fans. I love it. And lastly, we have our snack related collectibles. We have the Pretty Cure Card Wafers, which are a blind package, of course, and come with a sweet wafer treat. Seven different cards to collect here for 100 43 yen per package. And then we have our Shikishi art. Many of us have already seen these previewed. The images, seven different and beautiful illustrations. I especially love the one of our villains turned turned cures line. This is going to be 400 yen and comes with a packet of gum. The card wafers are releasing in April while the Shikishi art comes out a month later in May. I love the spring. I love the spring. And that's all that Bonsai has announced so far for the 20th anniversary merchandise. I expect a whole lot more to come in the next year. The celebration has not even really started yet and there's a lot to look forward to, I think. But wait, you thought it was done? No, I told you. There's an entirely different line of 20th anniversary Pretty Cure merch and I'm so excited for it because of what I've talked about thus far. It is my favorite. Everything is so cute and usable. And it seems to be targeted for an older Pretty Cure fan audience, which is very rare for Pretty Cure and it's probably one of the first times they've done that. So let me tell you what's going on next month for Pretty Cure in Tokyo, Japan. Starting February 1st and ending February 19th, there will be an exclusive event and exhibit in Tokyo called the All Pre Cure Exhibition 20th Anniversary Memories. There you will be able to enter a concept exhibition space containing a gallery of original drawings, videos of transformation scenes, life-size figures of all the leader cures so far, and more, including an area that's produced by creative director and activist Asako Tsuji, who herself was inspired by Pretty Cure growing up. There will be a daily photo op meet and greet that rotates between all of the existing cures. So essentially we're getting a mini Pretty Cure museum. The exhibit is a ticket only entry and has a lineup of exclusive merchandise that is too cute for its own good. Now the merchandise lineup might change in the future given that the website implies there will be two other locations opening up for a limited time later this year. But for now, let's get into the Tokyo locations merchandise lineup, shall we? First up, 
First up is the 20th anniversary memories catalog. The website does not say or show what's in it, but it is 276 pages of what I'm assuming is pictures and pretty cute illustrations celebrating its 20th. This is going to be 3,800 yen. Next up is a clear square pouch with a pattern of motifs from each season, including Hero Sky. I love that. You're going to be seeing a lot of this pattern coming up. This retails at 2,700 yen. Next, we have a polyester all pretty cure black square pouch decorated with small hearts. I love the simplicity and kind of like the elegance that they're going for with these items, which is why I say that it feels like they're targeting this for fans that are in their teens and up. This retails at 3,300 yen. One more pouch for good measure. This is actually labeled as a purse and is larger than the last two, but has a drawstring opening, coming with the motif pattern and a gold 20th logo. Oh, don't you just love merch that's kind of subtle in its presentation? I love how creative it can get. This is going to retail at 1300 yen. Here is a baby pink, all pre-cure anniversary tote bag, logo in the corner for 2700 yen. And what is a tote bag without a bag charm you can put on it? This is uh, adorable, I think. The splashes of pink, the all pretty cure 20th anniversary written on it the heart charm i love it so much i want it this is 1900 yen next is an acrylic slide mirror with a tassel that features the emblems of each season of precure these are the clear as day emblems while the other designs i just showed were more like motifs however this doesn't have hero sky on it which is kind of confusing kind of weird the other merch has hero garu sky on it so i'm not sure why this item could not include the emblem but whatever this is 14 yen. Now we have a hand towel featuring all of our leaders ribbons and hair breadths and pins etc. I love how so clearly leader centric this is and it shows off the uniqueness of each season. Sky's wing breadths are so cute. I love it. This retails at 880 yen. We've got the all pre-cure hand towel with a pocket. This is also 880 yen. And then we have a houseware headband. I love these. They're always cute and they're often fluffy, but I'm not sure if this one's going to be fluffy, but it has all pretty cure on the front bow. I kind of wish this also had the motif pattern on it or something. It, like I feel Feel like it would feel more worth it to me if it had more pretty cure on it but this retails at 2700 yen next is this very cute pass holder case made out of plastic leather this is great to keep your cards in if you use public transportation license id with the motifs pattern it's so cute and simple this will retail at 2700 yen this pink neck strap can be attached to your house keys your car keys has the motifs on it as well as pretty cure written on it and you can rep pretty cure while you're out on the town you know i really like this honestly this is going to retail at 1300 yen here we have a 20th anniversary logo jewelry case i've never actually used a case like this but i'm assuming that you can put your earrings into the little holes that are on that strap it's cute uh this is going to be 3800 yen next we have this all pre-cure t-shirt what do we think guys <laughs> I was like, well, that's boring. At least put the logo on it. Yeah, I wish it just had more going on. It is cute in a way. It only comes in the medium size right now, which is also very like question mark, but this is retailing at 3000 yen. When you have company over and it's time to pull out the fancy glasses, you better pull out the pretty cure glasses because we have some pretty cure. <laughs> We've got some pretty cure glasses with the special motif pattern. It's adorable, though I'm willing to bet that these are not dishwasher safe, so if you do get these, be careful. One glass will be 1,700 yen. Next up are three different types of mugs, all for 1,700 yen each. We've got an all pretty cured 20th anniversary mug, and then we have two mugs showing off our leaders in their power-up forms. The first holding leaders from the first 10 years of pretty cure, 2004 to 2014, and the second containing cure leaders from 2015 through 2023. And like the glasses, I'm sure these are not dishwasher safe, so be careful if you do get them as we are not sure about the quality of the print job yet. Here comes three types of washi tapes, all for 700 yen each. First one with the motif pattern, second one has all of the fairies, and the third has the leader transformation devices. I love how all of these are like actual items and then it's just Mofuru and Kome Kome. Acrylic stands time, oh! The popularity of acrylic stands is really staggering. Luckily, this set is not blind packaged, 
If you go in store, you can choose which one you want, but there are 18 types. All of the leaders are featured in their power-ups again, and they include a smaller piece with their respective seasons emblem. These will be 1500 yen each. The second acrylic stand set is a doozy, you guys. It's an entire diorama featuring all of the cures so far. Comes in seven different parts that cannot be sold separately, by the way, and is... Are you sitting down? Because 43,000 yen. And you can only buy it as a set, so there's no trading or anything like that. It's just $400. <laughs> People might sell their individual pieces later on. We'll have to see about that. Now, maybe that didn't move you. Maybe I just haven't seen enough and that just isn't very expensive to you. But in any case, I do love the all cure inclusion. Next, we have our tin badges our leaders again. These are blind packaged, so you can't choose which ones you want in store, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere elsewhere later. They are 500 yen per package. They are also selling a canvas board of the powered up design, which is very beautiful. Seeing it all together makes you realize how far Pretty Cure has really come. This is retailing at 3000 yen. Two types of clear files sold as a set for 800 yen. Honestly, that's a good deal. Very pretty. A water bottle you can buy in store for 400 yen. I'm pretty sure they sell these water bottles at the, like, the permanent Pretty Cure store locations as well. Promoting hydration. Have you drank your water today? Next up, and we're almost done, are the blind bagged mini mini tapestries for 900 yen a package. I love these. I love seeing the emblems on these and the names in English. I love how Summer's name is outlined in rainbow and Sky's name is outlined in blue. I love that. Cure Stars is in yellow for some reason, but it looks nice with their color scheme, so we'll let it pass. Now, I really like these. This is a set of 10 different kinds of sticky notes with the leaders on them. I want Pretty Cure reminders, are you kidding me? This is going to be 1300 yen. Next, we have 18 different leader pottery coasters. The sample picture they chose for these on the website isn't really doing that much good, but they're made out of dolomite and cork, and you can choose which one you want in store so they are not blind bagged. This is gonna be 1300 yen each. Second to last is something I absolutely need. This sticker sheet with the transformation items and the attack items. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this is the only item out of the entire collection that has the wands on it. Like that's crazy to me. A sheet retails for 800 yen and I need one expeditiously. And then last but certainly not least, the final items are these acrylic magnets, which features stills from the transformation sequences of all 75 cures so far, aside from Sky and Prism, since those transformations we have not seen yet. These are really special. The transformations play an important role in Pretty Cure, so to display moments from every cure's transformation like this, it really shows off some of the charm that Pretty Cure has. If you're buying these in store, they are blind packaged. However, they are separated into six different groups of seasons, so that can give you a better chance at getting the one that you want. JK, that's not the last item. They announced something else the day after I filmed this. The last item is actually really unique. Pretty Cure has teamed up with the world's tea specialty store, Lupicia, to bring us Pretty Cure Original Tea. The taste seems to be hints of vanilla and chocolate with added flower petals and competo, the little Japanese sugar candy, to express glamour. Eight tea bags for 1900 yen. If you ever wanted Pretty Cure tea, now is your chance, it seems. Yeah, that was a lot. But that's all of the merchandise that has been announced so far for the general Pretty Cure 20th anniversary, as well as the Pretty Cure exhibition. Now, this is when I tell you exactly how you can get these items. I mentioned briefly before that the anniversary items on the Bandai website, such as the dolls and plushies, have the same accessibility as the Hirogaru Sky items that are also on the website. You are now able to pre-order the dolls the plush keychains and the pre-core dolls on websites such as Amazon Japan, Ami Ami, Toku Lectables, and Hobby Link Japan. The items that won't be sold online, such as the Gashapon, the Shikishi art, and the card wafers, you will have to buy secondhand from sellers on sites such as Yahoo Japan Auctions and Mercari Japan. And you're going to have to use a proxy service such as Zen Market and Baiyi. However, the exhibition items are quite different. These items are exclusive to the Pretty Cure exhibition, and according to the website as of right now, they will not be sold online. There is a footnote on the website that states that some items will be sold after the fact 
or by mail order, but it does not specify which ones. And even then, they state that they will not be shipping internationally. So where does this put you, an international fan? Don't worry, there will be a few ways where you can get these very cute exhibition items. The first is having an in-person proxy go to the store and pick up the items for you and ship it to you internationally. There are lots of reputable Instagram accounts that run their own proxy services in order for people outside of Japan to buy goods from exclusive events such as museums and cafes or pop-up shops or just stores that generally do not ship internationally. You just have to make sure that the account that you contact has confirmed that they are willing to do service at that venue. So you can politely DM them and ask them if they will be doing service at the Pretty Cure exhibition. I have messaged a few and right now I can only confirm one account that is willing to do pickups for the Pretty Cure exhibition and that account is II in Wonderland. I have actually used Use them before so I do trust their service. There are a few other legitimate Japanese proxies on Instagram that have been recommended to me before and I will leave their links down below in the description. Just inquire with them first and make sure that it is something that they are willing to do or going to do. But as of right now, I can only confirm one. If all that was too much fuss, your second option is, and there is no harm in this, waiting until the items go on Mercari Japan and Yahoo Japan auction secondhand. The price is going to vary, of course, because you're going to be buying it from a second party. However, it's very common to see people reselling items that they got from these ex exclusive events, especially things that were blind packaged. And lastly, your third best option is waiting until the website puts whatever items they say they're going to put up on there. <laughs> and then purchasing by using a proxy service such as Zen Market or Baiyi. This is only the third best option because we don't yet know what merchandise they are planning to put on the website. And if it's not what you want, then this is a useless option. But we will just have to wait and see. This option would be the one to wait on. You guys, we made it. That is all of the notable Hirogaru Sky and 20th anniversary merchandise that has been announced so far. Yes, I said notable. There were just a few, just a few things that I did not include. Shampoo, cutlery, PJs, jigsaw puzzles. Like I said, Pretty Cure releases so many items and I am now just understanding the magnitude of it all because they are not even close to being done. But tell me down below in the comments, which line of merchandise was your favorite? Did you have a specific item that you liked or that you already pre-ordered? Or did you just hate all of it? <laughs> if you are watching this video way after this video has been released, and I'm talking like maybe you're watching this in May or June, or maybe even April <laughs> with the way that things are going, there is probably even more merchandise that has been released that I have not mentioned in this video. And I highly expect that because of the nature of the 20th anniversary. So if you want to stay up to date on this information, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dore Imani. I love talking about this kind of stuff and I talk about magical girl stuff in general. So you will definitely be in the know if you follow. But that is all for this video. I know that I said in my last video that the Sailor Moon season one review was coming out, but I had to get this video out because they were putting out merch and I was starting to get nervous. I was like, oh, I need to put this before I before it was more than I could handle. Seriously, this video would have been so much longer. So anyway, safe shopping. Enjoy your day and happy 20th to Pretty Cure. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.